What's up everyone, this is Michael with Reason and Theology. I have some very bad news for you today. One day, you are going to die. Now, for most of us, that isn't news, right? Most of us know that there's coming a day that we are going to die. But how many of us really give it a second thought and think about it? Stay tuned for more to find out on this edition of Breaking It Down, why we should give it a second thought. So the other day I was thinking, I have a road trip planned ahead of me, but I don't have a spare tire and I don't want to end up being one of those people who is stuck on the side of the road, stranded, thinking, why didn't I get a spare tire? So let me go ahead and plan ahead and be proactive and get a spare tire. Now, some of us do this with spare tires, right? We are proactive in this area, but how many of us are proactive with our death? How many of us say, you know what, I don't want to end up being one of those who reaches their deathbed. If you even make it to your deathbed, you might have a sudden death. But how many of us wonder, if I'm on my deathbed, am I going to have regrets? Am I going to be saying to myself, I wish I had repented of this sin earlier. I wish I had followed God's commands. I wish I had done this. I had done that. Let's not be one of those who ends up stranded on the side of the road, if you will, on our deathbed, thinking, I should have repented of this. I should have followed God in this. Let's go ahead and be proactive and do that now. How can we do that? By repenting of all of our sins and trusting in Christ. The Bible says in 1 John, if we repent of our sins, God is faithful and just to forgive us of our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. So I challenge you today, if you have any sin on your heart, go ahead and confess it to God the Almighty. Don't even procrastinate any longer. Go ahead and confess it to Him now and go to confession as soon as you can. God's mercies are new every morning. It's not too late. While you have breath in your lungs, it's still time to repent. I hope this has been encouraging to you. Thank you all for watching. God bless. Here at Reason and Theology, we've had the opportunity to have interviewed some of the greatest scholars and theologians in the world on matters related to Catholicism, Orthodoxy, Protestantism, Islam, Mormonism, Atheism, and a whole lot more. We ask that you go to the Reason and Theology YouTube page where you can watch some of these episodes that were done in interviews, roundtable discussions, debates, commentary and analysis, and much, much more. We also ask that you go to patreon.com forward slash reason and theology and consider becoming a patron and supporting what we do here on a monthly basis by selecting one of the plans that are available. Then also, if you would check out the reasonandtheology.com website, where we have all kinds of resources, including articles and uh, summaries on different matters pertaining to the faith. And then lastly, we ask that you go to the YouTube page on Reason and Theology and be sure to subscribe and hit the bell for notification for future events. Once again, thank you for watching and thank you for your support here at Reason and Theology.